What's going on guys? Crypto Renegade again here for another video for you. And in today's video, we are going to be doing another one of my first look hardware wallet videos. This is for the Grid Plus Lattice One. I know that's a mouthful, uh, but this is a brand new hardware wallet that came onto my radar. So I did a little digging and did a little research. So I wanted to bring it to you guys first. Uh, but before I jump into the content, I just wanted to also remind you that I did update my free new ebook seven best ways to secure your crypto it is brand new 100 percent free and i put a lot of work into it so go ahead and check that out in the description below i will also pin it in the comments all right guys welcome back so we're gonna jump right into this first look hardware wallet for the grid plus lattice one now this is actually a very interesting hardware wallet and we're going to jump into some of the features sort of what differentiates it from other hardware wallets that i've seen and then we'll end on the price and some of those things to kind of wrap this up but this is a very interesting wallet as you can see in the picture here it's a very large device it's got a five inch touch screen right here uh, which I appreciate that feature right off the bat and then it has a card slot here Which we'll get into in just a minute But what is really interesting about this hardware wallet is it's Actually the first programmable hardware wallet now I know there's another hardware wallet that claims to be the only programmable hardware wallet, which is the hash wallet but this is out now and you can get it now and the hash wallet is still pending release and I plan on doing a full review unboxing video on all of these wallets as soon as I get them in my hands but this one you can actually get now and what's really interesting about this grid plus lattice is being that it's a programmable hardware wallet this basically means in simple terms that you can use your own application or your own type of wallet that you want to use that integrates directly into this so as an example you can see some symbols here for decentralized protocols you have sushi swap curve wi-fi badger dow ethereum dexes bank or just to name a few right so what's really interesting about this is that you can, and I'll talk about some of the things that I like about this, which obviously this is one of them, and there's a few things I really don't like about it, so we'll touch on that. But just to recap, this one is, allows you to use whatever wallet or whatever protocol that you want. And the fact that it has that large touch screen allows you to execute smart contracts and see the full implementation of the addresses, the contracts, the gas fees, everything on one giant screen, which you can't do on Ledger Nano S, Ledger Nano X, Trezor Model T. You need a full large screen to be able to see the full addresses and to be able to sign and authorize these transactions effectively and safely. Furthermore, this allows you to access and use the device to participate and access a web browser so that you can access these different URLs, DeFi protocols, Uniswap, SushiSwap, uh, as an example, Synthetics, and participate on these different platforms. As you can see here, it is a full screen. It lays out the entire contract address. It lays everything out very cleanly and just very simple to use. Uh, cancel, accept. It looks like it's black and white. It doesn't look like there's any color based on what I'm seeing here, but it allows you to show everything in one spot so you don't have to scroll and wait. So it also allows you to add Ethereum smart contract data on the full display. This actually reminds me of the long dead ledger blue device i don't know if you guys remember that that came and went very quickly but that was that's what this was intended for is a basically a tablet type device where it's pretty big and allows you to execute and see full smart contracts access a browser to do d apps and that kind of thing so this is very interesting and i think this is the newest iteration of that now that DeFi is actually a really huge thing it also does allow obviously for cold storage it allows you to put the private keys on this smart card uh, which is pin protected and you can have as many cards as you want which is actually really nice so that you can basically set up multi-sig as well or you can have multiple different keys so that if you need a backup or you want to store your private keys on this and have access you can easily do that 
So at first when I saw this, my first impression, I thought it was like a like a checkout terminal for a business where you can you know accept credit cards and that kind of thing, but it's not. It's just a, kind of like a giant tablet device that gives you full access to this, which, which honestly is really nice. Um, as you can see here, it's about five inches by five inches. It's a pretty thick tablet-like device. It says here that it's uh, caged inside a tamper-resistant wire security mesh. Uh, has a secure computing environment, uh, which is all good and well. So let, but let's touch on real quick what the some of the downfalls of this device is. So being that this has access to D apps, different wallets, you're probably wondering, hey, this is a hardware wallet. Does it have access to the internet? And the answer is yes. Additionally, this is a pretty high entry price for a hardware wallet. Uh, but it, granted, it does allow you to do things that other hardware wallets can't. So this, as you can see here, is going for $349 for this device. And then it comes with one safe card and you can pay extra if you want additional safe cards to store your private keys offline. It also allows you to have multiple apps, as I mentioned, and it, it is sort of large and bulky, but if you're uh, interacting with smart contracts, DeFi protocols, it, it most likely is worth it. You know, I'd much rather have a large display that allows me to do this. It also does have a two pro US two prong type A power supply. So, uh, even though it technically is wireless, it does allow you to have an adapter to charge it, um, which is included. And just sort of reiterating here, uh, touchscreen display, five inch, very low resolution, so I assume it's in black and white. Uh, it has the card slot where you can add up to multiple users and multiple cards to access the same device, uh, which is nice. CLDS tamper detection mesh, internal secure enclave, uh, this is very similar to what the iPhone has and where it stores its Apple Pay data. So it's very similar in that particular regard where it's a secure element. And then it also has a secure computing environment. So it basically says it operates and executes code on a separate chip that is encrypted and doesn't have access to the internet. It also does, even though it has all these really nice security features that I like, and it claims that it can't you know your private keys are safe on the device because you can't access the internet this this is an internet connected device okay and that makes me nervous for a couple of reasons part of the reason that i like and use hardware wallets is because it's a device that has no access to the internet has no wi-fi module it has no external connections that could be intercepted that could be hacked there's no entry points where this could become a problem. And that's why I like to store my private keys on a hardware wallet device, like an Engrave, like a Elipal Titan is because it's air gapped and there's no access to it. Well, this does. This is basically a small computer. It's like a tablet. It has internal storage, it has extra battery, it has the ability to run all these smart contracts, but it also does have a Wi-Fi antenna, which I don't like. It also has a Zigbee antenna, so you can connect to other IOT devices. That's something that I don't like and it also includes an Ethernet jack. All this to say that I understand why they include it and what benefits that it can provide, but when it comes to the purpose of a hardware wallet of securing your private keys offline and not having access to the internet in any way, shape, or form, this fails. However, if you want a device that allows you to execute smart contracts, and run those different D apps and DeFi apps, you know, this is this looks excellent. You know, if I wanted to not store my private keys, but if I wanted to run smart contracts, run Uniswap, run one inch, those kinds of things, and have the ability to pull my private keys on a smart card, if I was executing those types of smart contracts, then this would be actually a really good device. And I plan on using it and testing it. I just don't know if I would personally, right off the bat, without getting more information on it, would be able to store my private keys on there long term. But again, hopefully they roll out more in-depth information on this soon. But I just wanted to give you sort of a first look, first impression, first view on this gridplus.io. Sort of is under the radar. I haven't seen any other reviews or anyone really touch on it. You can add additional cards. The safe card here uh, for an additional two is $40. So it uh, allows you to add on multiple users if that's something that you want. Again, this, this is really designed for DeFi. This is designed for smart contracts, swapping tokens, swapping coins. 
And again, it is on the higher end of a price point of $349 with not having that many features other than being able to basically use it as a tablet that connects to the internet. So that's sort of my impression. I do like though that it does connect to a lot of these different apps and wallets, like for instance, MetaMask, Badger Finance, Bancor, Curve, MStable, Pool Together, Sushi Swap, YFI, Zapper. You know, and it also comes with its own built-in web wallet and mobile wallet as well. So it's on its internal browser, you can do that and access it. Overall, this has a lot of functionality. You know, it gives you a lot of things that you can do. I just, again, not sure that I would personally do this on my long-term private key storage for these coins. Although, you know, it also connects with MetaMask, which is really nice, especially if you're swapping these coins and you're using it on, you know, these DeFi protocols. You know, there's a lot of compelling things here. I'm just a little iffy on long-term private key storage, but perhaps there is more details that they haven't updated on the site yet, but uh, this is pretty cool. Honestly, it's different than any other hardware wallet that I've seen that's out there. And I think that this is sort of a better version and more sophisticated than the Ledger Blue was, which was also expensive back in the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Leave it down in the comments below. I will also leave a link for this as well if this is something you want to purchase and it gives you a discount as well. So go ahead and check that out in the description. And then if you want to, go ahead and click in the top right corner. I just released a video on hard, best hardware wallets for staking, which if you haven't checked out, it's actually really good. So go ahead and check that out in the top right corner now. And I will see you guys in that next video. Crypto Renegade out.